Okay, this video is about the Domitech Gravity Discharge Toilet. I have a 2020 Little Guy Max, and the model number is Domitech 712-TM09. And there's a nice manual that comes with it. Explains everything pretty much. Uh, you just have to spend the time with it and go through things. So let's move on to cleaning the toilet. For cleaning the toilet bowl, do not use any chlorine based or alcohol based cleaners. Just use a mild bathroom bowl cleaner. And as far as the black tank, the best I found is this right here. It's a spray wand. And you just open up the bowl and you hook it up to a garden hose and you just spray around and clean everything up. So that works really nice. I'll put a link below in the video description for that. Another trick that people use, and we've used it, it's pretty cool, is that when you're traveling between RV sites or dump stations, you put a bag of ice into the toilet, flush it down into the tank, and as you're traveling, it's scrubbing the inside of the black tank. Here we are outside the uh, Little Guy Max at the dump location. Off over here is your sewer when you pull that. Now, you can see the cap I have on here. It's pretty slick. I'm able to uh, remove the cap. It has weak wrists and uh, it makes it easier. And then you've got a little guy here. And you can open that up and drain that from that location if you'd like. Um, it's not really for cleaning. If you look underneath here, the sewer goes here and then straight up. So you're not going to be able to get to the tank and clean that. So the best way to clean the inside tank uh, is with a wand. And also, I end up pulling off this plate here. You can see it there. I wanted to inspect the piping in there. It's all sealed properly. Uh, you really can't take a video of it, so I did snap a picture of it, and I'll post that in the video, too. Okay, when you flush the toilet, press down here, and let all the sewage go down, and then let's snap back. That way it allows the seals at the bottom there to seal up and leave water in the tank and covering the seals. Okay, for winterizing, when you winterize your entire RV, uh, you just use the RV multi-purpose antifreeze. This one here was from Tractor Supply. Uh, posted below in the link, I'm going to include how I use the RV in the wintertime with the RV antifreeze. And leave that hooked up so that we can travel when it's cold and below freezing. Okay, to test your Dometic uh, toilet uh, levels, you just uh, take this cap off here and twist it to the left and it pops up. Now, I've already replaced the batteries here. You should replace them probably once a year, more often if you're not using it more often. Right now, it's in the off position. If you move this switch here to the test position, both the left and right lights come on saying it works fine. And the center light is not lit, which would be low battery. And then to turn it on, you put it here, and you put the cap back over. Now she's on. Okay, here's a portion of the manual. It does a great job of telling you how to test the indicator lights and replace the batteries. And on the bottom here, it's cleaning the probes. And to clean the probes, I'm not going to bother removing mine. I know mine are clean. But what you do is to remove the probes from the holding tank, twist off the white cap, 
it's covering the indicator lights. Set that aside. And then what you do is you twist and pull black probe body up to remove from rubber grommet. After cleaning probes, be sure to put the probe's body into the rubber grommet with the word top towards the back of the tank. Here are three products that you can put in your black tank to keep the smells down when you're using it. And uh, I prefer the borax. Use a half a cup of borax after I put a gallon of water in, in the black tank. Uh, I, you also can use Dawn in combination with borax or separately. And then some people use these porta packs. I don't particularly care for the porta packs. I don't even like the smell of them. Anyways, it's a personal preference, so you can test out what you like and prefer and go from there. The next thing I'm going to do is test the uh, capacity of the toilet with the indicator lights. I've got this uh, gallon jug here, and I'm going to keep track of each gallon I put in. When I hit six point uh, three quarters of a gallon, I should be getting the 75 percent full light on. Uh, we do have uh, the bottom part of the black tank as it goes out that uh, PVC where you uh, dump the sewage and that's going to maybe even be a gallon there. So we'll see. We'll start out and keep track of it and we'll let you know how it goes. Well, we completed the test and it didn't go too very, very well with the indicator lights. People have mentioned that they really don't work, or if they work, they're unreliable. In any case, uh, I started filling up the uh, black tank through the toilet. And when I got to five and a half gallons, the yellow amber light came on, which would indicate 75%, which I calculated to be six and three quarter gallons, actually. But then it went off. So I continued filling the tank until I got to the uh, nine gallons which is pretty much uh, if you look down the bottom of the toilet there to the when you open up the trap gate there um it fills up when it gets to the top of the white part of the pipe on top of the tank that's when you're 100 percent full so uh there we have it people have been right about it really doesn't work well just keep checking it um you pretty much know once you start using your RV, how much it takes to fill it up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and have a nice day.